Hello everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to talk to you guys about Malwarebytes Anti-Rootkit. Now currently the software is in beta, meaning that it's not completely finished yet, they're still doing bug testing, so do keep that in mind if you decide to download it. This is from the makers of the highly popular Malwarebytes Anti-Malware that everybody has downloaded at some point, and we may do a review about that in the future. But the difference is that this software specifically looks for rootkits in your system. So what is a rootkit? A rootkit is a type of software that is designed to hide the fact that your operating system has been compromised. It has an infection on it. Rootkits allow viruses and malware to basically hide in plain sight by disguising the system files that they've taken over to look like regular files. Um, themselves aren't very harmful, but what they use is they open up a back door into the system and makes it so that people can take control of your computer. And it hides malware and bots and worms and things of that nature. And so it makes it harder to detect on your system. So that's what Malwarebytes anti-rootkit software specifically is trying to look for in your system is these hidden files that look like normal files that will try to allow other malicious software to get downloaded onto your system. So let's get into the software itself. The software doesn't have an installer, but what you have to do is extract the files inside the program into another folder. So all I'm doing is creating a folder, name it whatever you want to, and then I'm going to run the software and it's going to ask me where I want to extract the files to. So I'll go through, choose this folder I just created, select it and press OK, and it will extract all the files necessary to run the program. Doing this will allow you to put the program onto something like a USB thumb drive so that you can access it, move it from computer to computer without having to worry about it getting installed in order to be able to run it. It can use it as an on-demand scanner just in case you encounter a computer having some problem. Once the program's loaded, just click next. It'll take you to the next screen where you can update the database just to make sure it has the most current definitions. Doesn't take very long to do this. Good success. Next takes you to the spot where you can select what you want to scan. By default, it scans for drivers, sectors, and system. And this will go through and scan your registry as well. Now, the scanning time takes a long time because it is a full system scanner. It took about a half hour, maybe a little longer on my system, but that time will vary based on how many files your system has. After the scan is completed, hopefully you'll see a screen just like this letting you know that there's nothing found on your system, and that's great. If it does happen to find something on your system, it's going to want to clean it, of course. And to allow it to clean it, it's going to have to reboot your computer. After it reboots it, it will remove as many of the files as it possibly can. I recommend that you run the program again and let it do another full scan, just to make sure it didn't miss anything. If it does happen to find something, then of course let it finish cleaning it, reboot, repeat the process as many times until it doesn't find anything. Something that's really important to do just in case is when you're done with the scans, make sure your antivirus, your internet connection, and things like that are actually working properly on your system. If they're not, within the program folder that you extracted all the files to, you'll see that there's a plugins folder here. And if you go inside that, you'll see there has another executable it's called fixdamage.exe. This is from Malwarebytes and it's meant to reset your antivirus, your internet connection, and things that may have gotten kind of borked up in the process of cleaning out root kits because when you start removing important files ever so often those important files will be connected to something that's not very good for your system and by removing those it will kill a connection on your system so if you happen to run this and it does happen to remove a root kit and then you can no longer access the internet or your antivirus is acting up or anything like that you can always run this executable that comes with the program and it'll go through and fix so that's the system in a nutshell. It's pretty simple. All it is is a rootkit scanner and it works really well for what it does. But again, do keep in mind that this is in beta and this is in version 1.09. So things may change or get adjusted as they continue to develop it. So in case you can't encounter any bugs, use at your own discretion. Malwarebytes and myself are not held liable for any problems you may have on your system while using the software. But this is something I would recommend everybody at least download and take a scan on their system just to make sure there's nothing bad hiding in the background on your system. You never know what could possibly be there. And it's free. There's no paid version of this. It's the free version only. You download it, extract it, run it, and you're done. So anyway, hope you found this video useful. If you did, do me a favor and drop a like on the video down below. And you know, leave me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions of any other software or hardware that you would like for me to review. Thank you guys so much for your time. You guys have a good day and I will talk to you later.